after I've gone through the lessons, I can use software for technical support. So if I want to unselect, notice over here I have a selection and I forgot how to unselect. If I go over here and type in UNSEL close enough, it says, ah, let me double click on that. The quickest way to clear a selection made with these points is to double click the playhead. And just follow along with the video. That found video number five, fast forwarded three minutes and 56 seconds into the video, showed me how to do the unselect and then paused all in about six seconds. Hi, this is Randy Hilgers. I want to take just a minute and talk to you about some new products that we've created. Uh, we have uh, Soft Tutor Freeware players now, and they're the clay colored icons or the salmon colored icons. We're also uh, releasing uh, Soft Tutor for Camtasia Studio and Snagit as a free player as well. Uh, any event, let me give you a quick overview of the product. So we'll just double click on that. Right, we'll give you a quick. That'll start playing right when it comes up. And how Soft Tutor works is it's a video player that's tied to a special learning management system. And it allows you to learn inside of the software that the teacher wants to teach you in. So here, um, let me go back. Initially, when Soft Tutor comes up, it'll come up in the help, the help book about Soft Tutor learning, walk you through how you, to learn Soft Tutor, and then it'll take you through a couple of different topics. And once you get through those, then you can try to use Soft Tutor and follow along and learn by doing. Uh, this product has uh, Camtasia Studio 8, Camtasia Studio 7, if you're still using that one, Snagit 11, Snagit 10, and then some uh, other demos and things about Soft Tutor below. Uh, if you uh, run the Camtasia Tutorial, Studio huh? 8, uh, some of these have example files. And to get to the example files, you go to your programs. Uh, or if you're running Windows 8, you can just search for it. And then we'll look for Camtasia Studio and snag it. And then we'll click here, uh, Soft Tutor Camtasia Studio uh, example files. So we'll click on that. It'll come up with a specially designed web page that we've created for this project. You can download Camtasia Studio 8 30 day eval if you don't have one and learn all there is to know about it. You can download Snagit and learn all there is to know about that as well if you want. Uh, if you'll see here, uh, the Camtasia Studio 8 book uh, has example files for the first 10 lessons. Uh, and there's a lot more than 10 lessons on the product. If we open that back up again, uh, you'll see that there are well, it's 38, but they're broken down into subtopics as well. Or sorry, 34.8. So there's quite a few lessons that you can walk your way through here. Uh, although the first 10 have example files. So if you click on this, it'll say, do you want to save the zip file? And I've gone ahead and saved that uh, to my desktop. I saved it and I unzipped it as... Uh, CS8 lesson one, and if you look inside, there's a lot, a lot of files that you're probably gonna uh, start playing around with. And Camtasia Studio teaches you how to basically make training, uh, make videos uh, for training purposes. Uh, Snagit allows people to make videos for skill sharing, technical support, collaboration. Uh, so anyways, you can go back here. If you want to be kept up to date on this project, you can join our mailing list when we make updates to it. We'll shoot you an email and say you can update the new version. So let me show you how this works. We're going to go back and run Soft Tutor. I'm going to open up Camtasia Studio. Notice Soft Tutor is staying on top because I have the Keep on Top box checked on Soft Tutor. So Soft Tutor is going to stay on top of Camtasia. I have continuous play. It'll start playing just topic one and it'll, as soon as it finishes it'll play the next topic. Play after select it'll play right after I choose something. Zooming. Panning. So and then I can go through the lessons and follow along with it. So once you've gone through the tutorial you can go 
you can leave soft tutor on your computer and use it for technical support uh, if you're a company you can load it on a server and share it uh, we also have optional uh, authoring tools where you can add your own content and you can share your own skills and everything else you can use the soft tutor learning system to teach how to use your software in your own company we also have consulting services and would be happy to create custom training for you as well uh, we also have some buttons down here on the bottom large plays it back large takes up a little bit more of your screen and for the normal size s for small so if you run it at normal size it usually has the best resolution uh, you can also manually resize it i'm sure you've seen me do that before so anyways hope you enjoy soft tutor thanks